What's up everybody? I'm Joe and you are in the Goodyear Lounge. Today we're going to be unboxing the Elite Controller uh, from Microsoft and this is the Series 2. A couple of the cool tech specs that this controller really offers is the fact that it gives you added functionality of buttons behind the controller. Uh, so if you've never seen the specific layout of these types of controllers, uh, they give you uh, the ability to remap specific buttons such as A, B, X, or Y uh, to buttons in the back so that you don't ever actually have to take your thumbs off the joysticks. And if you've never gotten to play a game that way, uh, it is very different uh, from what you're used to on a regular controller. Outside of that, uh, this is very different from uh, the regular Xbox remote. And so we'll actually go into uh, some of the specific differences here. So if you have a new Xbox uh, remote, you have the uh, share button here. Uh, these remotes came with the Xbox Series S and Xbox Series X, and you could purchase them separately for your Xbox. All of these um, remotes will work on PCs and any Xbox that you have outside of the Xbox 360 and the original Xbox. A nice upgrade that Microsoft should really look to include into the future on their regular remotes is rechargeable batteries. Um, I know a lot of people uh, have a, a big issue with uh, the fact that uh, Microsoft's controllers still uh, use double A's, uh, which if you don't have a lot of double A's laying around the house, the best bet to get around uh, the necessity of double A's is to plug the controller via the USB-C or the micro USB, depending on the version of controller that you have, directly into your Xbox. Uh, if you aren't that far away, um, it's definitely something that you should think about doing. It will remove latency uh, between the controller and the gaming. And you may never even tell that difference, but uh, definitely something if you don't want to have to continuously uh, put... Um, batteries in your controller, uh, definitely look to just plug it in. Uh, if you can't plug it in, uh, there are a lot of really awesome play and charge kits that are not Microsoft branded. Uh, the non Microsoft branded play and charge kits, um, I got mine at Target from Power A. I think they were uh, 14 or $15, and you get two batteries, and they charge and last probably two or three years, and they're about half the price of a play and charge kit, and you get two batteries instead of just one. So definitely something for you to look into. All right. And so now let's get into uh, unboxing. All right. So there it is. There is the box. The Elite Series 2. Let's see what it comes with. Uh, it comes with uh, multiple replaceable direction pads, uh, which we'll show off. A couple replaceable joysticks. A couple paddles for the back. A wireless charging kit as well as a tension tuner uh, for uh, the uh, joysticks, which is very cool. Um, you're actually able to uh, loosen the tension on the joystick so that they move left and right or up and down uh, significantly easier or significantly more difficult. All right, everybody. So here we go. So here is the box itself. It comes in a very nice... Um, very nice solid package. Uh, overall, it is a very sturdy box. Um, very well made versus the regular controller box that you normally get. And so let's get into opening this bad boy. Uh, you'll find multiple um, of the peel strips around the box on the top as well as the bottom. That'll open up and then you're going to want to layer down. And it will open uh, directly from the top. It'll slide out. There we go. All right. There it is. What you'll find inside is the specific carrying case uh, for the um, Xbox controller itself. And so we're going to take that out. And most of the goodies are going to be right in this case. But let's go through the rest of the box to see what we've got in here. So it looks like it comes with a construction manual, an instruction manual. All right, nothing really too fancy. We've got a, a code for Game Pass Ultimate uh, for anybody who wants to 
uh, go ahead and use that code. You're more than welcome. Uh, that'll give you uh, 14 days of Game Pass Ultimate. That's very nice. And so let's wrap this up before we get any further. It actually looks like the charging cable is under the uh, main housing as well here. So we'll pull that out. All right. And so here is the main charging cable. And this is where you're going to see the really nicely done uh, braided uh, charging cable uh, from Microsoft. This is one of the, uh, the better additions uh, to these controllers, um, is a braided cable. And the reason why you do the braided cable is so that it doesn't really have the ability to uh, twist or get tangled. Um, this is something that uh, is very helpful um, when you're in tight spaces, such as uh, drilling this directly through um, a wall. You don't really have to worry about it getting caught on anything. It is going to be uh, very sturdy. All right. Outside of the charging cable, we have the Xbox Elite Series 2 controller itself. And so let's get into opening this package. Let's move this out of the way. And let's get into opening this. All right. Nice zipper. Um, overall, this is the charging case as well. You'll see in the back here, you actually plug the uh, USB Type-C directly into the case if you want to do a wireless charging. Um, or you can plug the USB Type-C directly into the remote. That is completely your preference. And then here is the uh, brand new Elite Series 2. Um, it comes with uh, multiple joysticks, and they are magnetic. They come right off. So if you want to switch to more of a concave versus a convex, uh, this is what is on the PlayStation remotes. Um, it's more of a rounded top instead of a flat top. Or if you want a taller joystick, you can always slap on a taller joystick for those first-person shooter games, uh, very similar to those, uh, those FPS freaks that um, you used to be able to uh, get, and I'm sure you still can. But overall, everything is very well built. Uh, magnetic quality is very nice. It seems very fit and clean. Um, overall, it still has the um, 3.5 millimeter jack, as well as the uh, USB um, specific uh, proprietary Microsoft headphone jack there. Um, up at the top, uh, you'll see it has the sync button, as well as the USB Type-C R charger. A um, couple cool features here um, on the back. Uh, these specific triggers um, have the ability to get trigger stops on them. So you can prohibit the amount of uh, pull down that you need to do to actually activate that trigger. So if you could see that, right, so let's go all the way back up to the top. Look at how far you have to pull down that trigger to get it to activate versus when you have the trigger stop on all the way, you barely even have to pull it down. And the same goes for the opposite trigger. Very cool. And then here are the uh, specific uh, toggles in the back. They are extremely clicky uh, when you first get them. It does break in over time. And what these buttons do is remap the buttons that are on the face of the remote. Uh, so that you, when you're playing, you never actually have to take your thumbs off the sticks. You got the access to these in the back here. Then you have a different D-pad. So this D-pad here is going to be more of a um, directional D-pad. This would probably be really good for fighting type games. So that if you're trying to do combos, you could push down this and it'll hit both the down and left um, D-pad more effectively, as well as the bottom right, top right, and top left. Very cool. You could also switch that out to a uh, normal D-pad, which we will get out of the, the box here. Normal D-pad goes right on, and it has that same metallic look as the top buttons. So overall, really nicely made. All right. And there you have it, plugged in charging. 
Uh, you'll see the white light indicator in the middle of the controller uh, right there indicating that the battery is charging. Upsettingly, one of the unfortunate things here is that the indicator does not show the state of charge. Uh, so you will have to turn the Xbox on uh, to see the total indication of how much charge the battery uh, does have in the controller. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you got some really good information around the Elite Controller Series 2. Um, it is a great piece of machinery. Uh, it is very expensive. A price tag of about $180 versus a regular controller that you could pick up uh, anywhere pretty much for about $59.99 um, and sometimes even cheaper than that depending on the color of the controller that you get. Uh, but overall, it's definitely a little bit more expensive, uh, but the sturdier build quality will definitely last you in further into the future. Especially if you get a warranty, a Geek Squad warranty, or a GameStop warranty for a couple extra bucks, you'll be able to go and replace that thing uh, relatively easily. But, that being said, you could also do that with a regular controller. Um, and so, the Elite Controller really gives you that added functionality of a rechargeable battery and the extra pads on the bottom. So, definitely, if you're really interested in taking your gaming to the next step, or interested in first-person shooters and never having to turn, uh, take your fingers off the thumbsticks, then this controller is definitely for you. And so, if you can, leave a comment down below what your favorite part of the uh, Series 2 Elite Controller is. And if you haven't already, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, hit that like button. It'll definitely help out the channel, and really appreciate it, guys. Uh, really looking forward to uh, speaking with you again soon, and see you later.